Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to C.S. Lewis Academy and the virtual vibes. The Tropical Vibes auction is starting today. I'm a, my name is Patrick Cyber. I'm your auctioneer for this year's uh, event and couldn't be more happy to be with you. As we get started today and we've kicked off the online auction, I want to ask you, feel free to uh, please say hello. Tell us who you are and uh, show your watchman pride in the comment box. We love to respond back. We can see your comments and love to chat. And also, as we go along in today's program, if you have any questions, feel free to ask questions. Or of course, if you wanna give Steve a hard time, that's always uh, acceptable also. It's all about having tropical vibes today. Last thing I'll mention before I introduce our uh, favorite people is that uh, we've got a little fun giveaway today, folks. If you will enter hashtag watchman, you will be entered to win a $25 Amazon gift card that we will give away while we are on the air today. So if uh, don't waste any time, make sure you type in hashtag watchman and get the tropical vibes and maybe a uh, $25 Amazon gift card. Who couldn't use an Amazon gift card? Hey, I am so honored to be joined today by the auction vice chair, Miss Molly Robertson. Molly, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Patrick? I'm doing outstanding. And we also, as everybody's favorite administrator in de of development and athletics, please welcome all the way from Lake Tahoe, Nevada, or California, depending on what part of the city you're standing in. Please welcome Mr. Steve Wallow. How are you, Steve-O? Doing really well, Patrick. Thanks, Absolutely. Uh, now that we're at this point, really excited. Yeah, it's fun, huh? It's in the air. As in we the say, air. the ball, we, the, the toe has met leather in your sport of football, and uh, uh, the balls are snapping in the uh, gloves. I mean, this is, uh, we're ready to go. Yep, it's uh, it's game time. It is game time. And, you know, it didn't take any time at all. Uh, we've got some folks already anxious to get into that drawing. Uh, Danica, thanks for joining us. And Danielle, thank you so very much for joining us. Danica, you put it in there twice, but it only will count at once. So uh, <laughs> keep doing it. And hey, we, we've got a special shout out, Steve and Molly, to our good buddy Val Fitzgerald, who's our auction chair. Couldn't be with us today because she is uh, tending to some family business. But uh, Molly, you and Val have been busy, busy people over the last few weeks. Tell me all about it. Super busy. We've had local donors, um, our own C.S. Lewis families and friends donating. We're pretty much just running around town with trucks full of <laughs> full of items to put on there, answering phone calls and emails like crazy to to get all of our auction items up. And, you know, I think we'll see that what's up now. We're going to continue to accumulate things um, throughout the week that we have posted now. So definitely want to keep taking a look at our auction website there. So it's been a lot of fun. Val uh, is super connected with the community and you know everybody at cs lewis is willing to throw in something exciting to get on the auction so it's going to be a really fun event yeah that's Ooh. fantastic and it's a really cool event this year right because you know it used to be pre-pandemic that we got together once a year everybody in person we had you know the silent auction and the dinner and then we uh went to you know a little bit of a virtual online only the last couple of years and now we've got the best of both worlds, right? I mean, we're going to, we started our online auction today, which most people would consider, you know, kind of replaces what used to be the silent auction. And then uh, next Saturday, not tomorrow, but the following Saturday on the 14th, we're going to get together and uh, showcase our tropical vibes right there on campus, right? Right. Yeah. We'll have some barbecue, have a um, photo booth. It's a good time to get together and, um, you know, just celebrate where we're at and, do some good fundraising, I think. It'll be great. It's, it's absolutely positive. It's, it's incredible. Hey, tell me this, Molly. Uh, can folks still get tickets? Absolutely. Yeah, I think Steve's driving the tickets. He's got more information on that. <laughs> Fire it up, Steve. Tell I us all about, about it, I don't know about driving it, but if you go to any of the links on our Facebook pages, if you go to the front page, cslewisacademy.com page, uh, there's, there's a link right there. It says purchase tickets, and you can go to that link. If you have trouble with any of the sites, email me directly. Uh, I think anybody watching this knows who I am, but I'm all over our website, steve.wallow at cslewisacademy.com. 
and I will make sure you're uh, you're well taken care of. So um, we know that there's you know people watching this live, and we know that there's going to be people watching this um, you know much later after this broadcast that uh, have a chance to sit down and watch this. So at any time, if you have any problems with any of the sites, please uh, please let me know, and and uh, we'll take care of you. So. Um, there's you know, no I reason think to have any trouble, Steve, all they got to do is bid high and bid often, buddy. Just click into it and start bidding. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Steve, we're going to be raising a lot of money over the next uh, eight days or so. And and if you could share with our audience a little bit about how C.S. Lewis <clears throat> Academy will utilize those funds to to really improve the uh, overall experience there at C.S. Lewis. You know, that's probably the most exciting part of this, Patrick. Um uh, we brought back the auction after a uh, auction goes way back at C.S. Lewis, but there was a, uh, a substantial lull and uh, kind of had burnt out a lot of uh, uh, volunteers over the years. And uh, when I started at C.S. Lewis, I, I thought it was the way to bring it back. And in a very short period of time, we kind of brought back our first one. We've been doing it. I think this is year 11. Um, chaired it every year until now. And, and this year, Molly and Val got to do the, the heavy lifting. But up until now, um, a lot of the years when we said it, it was to, to assist operations, we really meant that. It was, it was assisting, um, you know, keeping the lights on. Uh, we, were, we have a gap between what our tuition income is and what our true expenses are, and it went to kind of fill that gap. This year in operations, finally, we're at a point where uh, we're able to put some new projects. We've been trying to bring a modular building on campus all year. It's been uh, tied up in red tape, but um, as of this morning, it's it's happening. Um, uh, we should have that all in place for next school year, but it has had added costs. Uh, we're, we've been trying to order a new bus as of two days ago. Uh, it's not ordered yet, but I think uh, I think we're on the right track to get it ordered. We're redoing the parking lot this summer. We're putting in, um, starting I think the day after school ends, we're going to start putting in some new um, play structure things. So we have a lot of different projects that are currently uh, built into our plan. So the auction is going to go to support those. Um, I, while we're talking about spending money on projects, I do have to give a shout out. Um, and I think this is a, a big deal. We ask our students one time a year to get involved in a kind of major fundraising for the school. And we've tried different things. We'd had uh, what we called a Watchman Challenge one year. And we used to do a hoop-a-thon and we were doing a jog-a-thon. This year we tweaked that to be a fun run. It was just a fun day out. And the, our students go out and run for half an hour and get pledges uh, to do that. They brought in $17,000 two days wow. ago wow. doing the fun run. That? Um, I thought it was just fantastic, but more important than that, they were loving it. They just had the best time, um, just dancing around the course and skipping and, and, you know, all the way into it, they were high-fiving me around the campus the last week or so telling me, you know, that they got a new pledge, um, that kind of, you know, ground up really to, to be with our kindergartners, it really is ground up ground up support for our, our school is exciting. And we told them that one of the things we were going to do with their money is we were going to put in the, the touchless filtered water dispensers in our buildings. And uh, we'll get that done this summer too. So there are a lot of neat things that we're, we're finally able to start doing with our fundraising income. Yeah, that's awesome. That is, uh, that's great news. And and it's so uh, positive to hear now that as we're coming back in this journey, we're getting back to somewhat of a norm uh, that you're able to focus on some new projects and, and to be able to keep making that environment so special as it is out there at C.S. Lewis. Uh, how about I show how people can help us uh, make this all happen? Go for it. Let's do it. I'm going to share my screen and uh, we will uh, we'll take a look. I, you know, folks, it's really simple, right? There is uh, the cool thing about this year we mentioned a moment ago is that anybody can participate in the online auction. You do not have to buy a ticket to participate in the online auction. You just need to be a, a fan of C.S. Lewis and ready to help out. And you can uh, you can get done, get it done. So all you got to do is start out and go to the main school website at cslewisacademy.com. 
And once you're there, folks, it uh, couldn't be any easier. Uh, right here on the home page, as Molly mentioned earlier, there are tickets still available. So you can click right here and get your tickets for the event. You can also click right here and go straight to the auction website. Now, when you click on that, it's going to take you here. I just went ahead and opened some extra tabs so that you didn't have to wait for it all to generate. But this will take you right to the home page of the actual auction itself, folks. And once you're here, it could not be any easier. The first thing you'll see over here in the top right is a icon that says get started. And that kind of makes sense, right? So you'll just click on that, get started, and it'll go ahead and take you to set up your account, right? Most of you, I suspect, have been involved with the auction in the past, so it may remember you. Uh, and if it does, then you can just click on it and use your password if you forgot your password or start a new account, whatever happens. But once you've got it done, then click on into it'll take you right to the auction pages folks and uh you can just get start bidding right so steve and molly i mean you guys have some incredible uh i counted what 70 some odd packages are on here right now and you're going to be adding packages every day over the next eight days from what i understand is that correct right exactly yeah we'll have some more baskets going up and other donations that are coming in as well so that is that is awesome i was Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying it'll keep growing. Yeah, absolutely. They, uh, we were we were still getting emails today, Patrick. And that's uh, fantastic. I have to I have to kind of bite my tongue a little bit and, and smile because one of the first meetings Molly and Val and I had, they asked, "Well, what what's our deadline for um, people giving things?" And I said, "You know, we can set whatever deadline we want, but." people will still you know as it gets really close they get motivated and they still you know reach into their hearts and and donate things and so they're rolling in so we're gonna do the best we can to get them packaged and online as as soon as we possibly can absolutely but you you taught me it's not it's not the first bit it's the last bit right that's right so, it's not where you start buddy it's where you finish right and <laughs> uh, that's the uh that's the beautiful deal uh you know the first thing it stuck out to my mind i i wanted to tap on here is that you've got an incredible raffle going on, uh, Molly. We're, we're giving away a, uh, you've got your choice, actually, as I understand it. Uh, you could win this incredible Traeger Pro 575, or you could take a, uh, I understand you could also I'm, take I'm going to interrupt you there, Patrick. No, the uh, the Traeger is the grand prize. All right, so perfect. So the Traeger that is, the, is fantastic. The second, the second prize is where you have a choice. I so gotcha. when I we see. draw, when we draw, we'll draw from the bottom up. We'll go fourth place, third place, second place. And at second place, we have a, a choice because it may not be a C.S. Lewis student. Right. So you might want to mention what second place is. Yeah, I'm looking at it right here, Steve. And it says uh, second prize is a $250 Visa gift card or a $500 C.S. Lewis Academy tuition reduction for 2022-2023, non-transferable, but it's your choice. Uh, so that'll be uh, that'll be awesome. And you even have a third prize with an Argyle winery tasting for four, valued at over $140. And fourth place is a $100 Fred Meyer gift certificate. So, I mean, this is an incredible raffle you put together here, fellas. Going, uh, going down four places and still being, you know, four times your buy-in is uh, – is a pretty good value. Well, now, Steve, I want to I want to make something really clear. You're saying the buy-in's twenty five, right? But yes, there's sir. two only two hundred tickets available, and people are allowed to buy as many as they want up to that two hundred, right? Yep. So don't limit them to just one. Okay, <laughs> buy as many as you want to support C.S. Lewis, and who knows if you win a prize, it's a bonus. Okay. If you don't win a prize, you've got that warm fuzzy that you're uh, you're supporting an incredible learning institution that you guys have at C.S. Lewis Academy. So, wow, what a cool uh, a cool deal! And then I wanted to kind of step on a couple of these uh, items here, Molly. What's one of your favorite ones that's up here right now? Oh man, you know I think what was really exciting was to see all of the different golf courses come out and throw a few. Uh, through a few rounds of golf in there. We've got Twalton Island Greens. We've got Merriweather, Charbonneau. Um, I've got my eye on a couple of those. Are you a, are you a golfer, Molly? Um, not well, but well, 
There, I, I didn't ask how good you played. I just say you enjoy it. That's the only uh, pre, that's the only prerequisite. So let's let's take a look here real quick. I know I, I saw Merriweather on there earlier. Uh, right. I'm going to get to it. I know I'm going to get to it. Uh, I saw it, so it's, I know it's here. Yeah, Walton Island Green's up a little bit more. That's, yep. a, I think, a couple buckets of balls. Um, let's look and, at that. Yeah. All right. So all you got to do, folks, is just click on it. And once you've clicked into it, you're going to get a complete description right here, okay? This is a gift card uh, good for two medium buckets at the driving range and two drinks. Uh, Steve, is that enough practice for you? Um, you know, in the old days, maybe. Today, <laughs> I can live out there and it wouldn't be enough practice. So. Yeah, maybe, maybe um, they'll let you trade in one of those uh, medium buckets for the drink and have a third. I, you know, I don't know. But it's a, uh, it's a neat package, uh, Molly. And let's show folks how we can bid on this. There's a blue button and a green button, folks. And uh, the blue button is the minimum you have to bid to be the leader uh, of the bidding, right? So on this one right now, we just opened up a couple hours ago. So no one has bid on this one yet. And I'm going to get to be the first. I could bid $10 uh, right now just by clicking this. And it will register my bid and away I go. The other thing I want to share with you is you could go to the blue button and you could click on the bid more button. And when you do, it's going to give you a, a little, uh, <laughs> I forget what they call it. I call it a tumbler. And you can pick the amount that you want to bid. Okay. And when you do that, you have, I'm going to say 30, I'm going to say $25. Okay. So when I click on the 25, I can place this bid two different ways. I can take the bid automatically to $25 or I can make that my max bid because Steve, we're all after a bargain, right? At the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And so right now I only have to spend $10 to win this package, but I would, I, I, I would spend up to 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my max bid at $25 and it's going to say bids will be placed automatically up to your bid amount, your max bid amount. So I'm going to click confirm. And away we go. So, so now, if I went in, Patrick, and I bid fifteen dollars on it right now, yeah, yours is going to automatically up my fifteen. Yeah, to well, it's going to. I'm going to jump you, right? Yep. It's not going to accept your bid. It's going to put me at twenty. Okay? okay. So that's a that's a fun deal, and I always encourage that, Steve and Molly, for folks, especially when when we have this window of time here to bid, find a convenient time, sit down, go through the catalog. Place your max bid on things. You can do that today, right? In the old days when you were, you know, you kind of ran around the social hour and tried to put your bids at the last second, you don't have to do this with this environment. Go ahead, enjoy uh, enjoy your evening and, and check out all the packages. And like we said a minute ago, Molly reinforced it. They're going to be adding new packages every day. So if you look at it tonight, look at it tomorrow because there's going to be some more good stuff there. But right I would now, point out. I, I would point out too that those uh, those max bids, those are hidden too. You're the only one that knows that you did that. So that is correct. Other people looking in there don't, you know, can't see that you have a max bid in there. Yeah, you know that that's exactly right. And then we want to we want to explain to everybody here about the closing time. Also, I'm going to go back to that package because it tells you right here uh, the closing time is Saturday at 10:30 on 514. So that is after we wrap up the big tropical vibe uh, event at the school. Okay. So we've got plenty of time for people to bid and uh, they can bid all the way through the event, whether they're there or they're not. And the bids will close at 1030 on Saturday night. So mark your calendar folks, whether you're going to be with us at CS Lewis or you're going to be somewhere else. Uh, you're going to be one to watch your bids because at 1030, they'll close. We're going to have such a great time that night. We hope we'll probably be done around nine is kind of what we're targeting right now. So it gives people yeah. time to get home, maybe give one last look at, at some items. So there'll be people talking about different items at the event. And you can pull your phone out at the event and, and uh, bid there just like you used to do silent auctions. So yeah, Anyhow, absolutely. It, uh, we'll leave it open a little while after the event and then close yeah. that off. No, uh, there is a couple of exceptions, one being the raffle. The raffle will shut down at seven o'clock 
because we will be drawing that around nine and we have to have time to prepare the ticket. So if you look up at the, the grand raffle, uh, yep. it's closing time when you when you click into that, we'll say 7 p.m. Yep, it certainly does. And and that's a good point, Steve. It could close earlier if we sell out those 200 tickets, buddy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So let's uh, don't waste any time, folks. You, you, you Don't guarantee yourself that you're going to buy a ticket at 655 next Saturday on the 14th, because I fully intend the watchman to deliver and sell this raffle out very, very quickly. All right. It's twenty five dollars a raffle. Buy as many as you want up to the amount still available, which is only one ninety nine right now. Right. So you can only buy one hundred and ninety nine of them at this point. OK. Hey, uh, Patrick, you got to ask me what my favorite one is because well, I got to get Molly out of trouble. Uh -oh. Yeah. Here, here's my uh, that was my next question. Uh, ironically enough, Steve. -O. What is it? It's it's strong hands massage. <laughs> strong hands massage. Strong hands massage. Looks like you got a Val, few packages here. It's Val Fitzgerald's company, and she's just awesome. Um, and has obviously we've talked about her. She's done a great job with the uh, with the auction, but she's donated several packages as well. So uh, I'm just trying to get brownie points here. So <laughs> well, I. <laughs> I Steve, have to the take only way it. to get brownie points is to start bidding on those. So pull your wallet out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You, I don't have to. All I got to do is click buttons, Molly. That's right. Absolutely. A and best of all, Steve. I you know there's uh, I see the float my way, and I I'm thinking you belong in one of those float devices. Yeah. Mopped in a chamber by himself. That's too quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, Molly, hang Not on a second. Action. <laughs> There's never been Not enough action. <laughs> he'll he'll be talking. Don't worry. Uh give me uh <laughs> give me a couple others of your favorites, folks. Which uh yeah, actually I take that back. Give me some that you think other people will be interested because I don't want to share what you're bidding on, Molly. <laughs> oh man. Uh let's see. Scroll down a bit. Let me see. What do we have? Um, okay, so Back 40 Tattoo, that's a really awesome shop out in Malala. They donated a, an hour's worth of chair time um, with fantastic artists out there. So if you're in the market for a tattoo, that's one you'll want to keep your eye on for sure. Absolutely. That's a cool yeah. idea. That yeah. is. Uh, I'm going to put mom in a heart right here on my. I already drew it up for you, Steve. Okay, there we go. Hey Steve, you gotta uh, be the, you gotta uh, be all over these Mariner tickets, huh? Uh, we got we got Mariner tickets, we got hops. Uh, I think I believe there's a couple of different Timbers packages. I know uh, I'm not sure if it's been uh, posted yet, but we're gonna have a corporate box Timbers wow. package uh, that's been donated by Pacific Office Automation and their their box. So um, there's just some neat stuff. I can see the Port and Spirit right there. You know that's always fun. So uh, it's the the team and and molly and val have done a great job and and i think um i don't know they i don't know if they threaten people or if they're just <laughs> intimidating or they're just a lot nicer than i am that's probably the key and they have they've had a lot of uh, especially our c.s lewis moms out um doing a lot of the procurement from us and they've just brought in a lot of neat stuff uh, a lot of things that we haven't had in the past and that's fantastic. yeah yeah no that's awesome it's fantastic it's so fun to see. Hey, can you give me a sense? I know we've got tickets still available for the event on the 14th. Give me a sense, uh, Molly or Steve or both. What uh, what can our attendees ex expect that night? Yeah, Molly, we've, take got that. A, we've got a great barbecue coming in from a local caterer down in St. Paul, um, McKillop's Catering. Uh, we're super excited about them. We've been working on the menu. Uh, we've used them in the past. So, you know, they're tried and true. Yeah, they're McKillop, great. Done a lot of events with McKillop. They're one of my favorites. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. Well, you have to come. It's next Saturday. Come on. Over to be You'll be there. <laughs> I plan on being be there talking though. a little faster than this. Sorry, yeah. we'll sneak you a barbecue in the back. Yeah. It's fine. No, no. Um, yeah, and then we've got a, a photo booth going up with some fun props. Get some pictures in your floral, uh, you know, your your Aloha shirt. Um, that, so that's the attire, right? That's you that's want right. people to show up with their tropical vibes on, right? You need to bring your vibes, all the tropical vibes you have. Bring everyone. Throw your, throw your hats, your sunglasses, your Hawaiian shirt, your sundress, that's whatever right. it is that is uh, that gives you the vibe, and come on out. That's right. I, I don't, I, I don't have to show up in a bow tie, Steve. It sounds like. 
<laughs> you know, we try to make this easy, Patrick. We want people to have fun at our event. So, what uh, what um, time are we starting that night? Uh, we're going to open doors at six for just you know what what normally would have been the silent auction time. We're going to take an hour just to be with each other, yeah. um, celebrate the fact that we can get together in our gym. Um, all people that are uh, committed and supportive of the of the mission of C.S. Lewis Academy and, and be there with each other. Um, it's just so exciting. Every time we've had any kind of gathering after the last couple of years, it's it's really been healing. So really, we want to focus on that. And you're not going to have to run around the room worried about a silent auction because, again, that's one of the reasons we left the online auction open until after the event. So people wouldn't be tied to their phones. They could go home and and look at the things that they were interested on after the event. So um, just be with each other. And then around seven, we'll start the uh, the program. During that hour, we will have a wine poll, which has always been popular. Uh, we will have uh, our hanging basket sales. We're selling some of those online, but we're selling some at the auction as well. So they can go around and pick the exact one they want and and um, sell and buy them there. They're so forty dollars right a up basket. Here at the top, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, we will have a paddle raise, and want to make sure we chat about that here in a minute. We'll have a paddle yeah. raise that goes to our financial assistance program. Um, we are going to have some mini raffles. Molly, you want to talk about the mini raffles? Yeah, we've got quite a few. Um, some more golf packages. We've got local local donors who've sent in things like um, Critter Cabana is a big one. They send a huge basket in dog training. Um, so, you know, we try to really diversify our raffle baskets to kind of get everybody's uh, attention on them. So there's, I believe, 10, possibly 12 um, raffle baskets that will be available. And so. that'll be the type of deal where you buy multiple tickets and you Sorry. can, you know, if you buy 10 tickets, you could go throw them all in on one of those baskets. Uh, you know, there'll be a little bucket next to each basket and you can throw all your tickets in there or you can divide them up or however you want to do it. So you yes. bid with your tickets. You right. bid with your, it's, you know, it's a raffle, but yeah. you can determine which ones you're entering in. So Increase you have 10 tickets. Odds. You could put, yep. You can put all 10 tickets in one bucket or you could, put one ticket in each of 10 different buckets. So um, yeah. up to you there. And then of course our live auction, which we're still going well, you're going to be doing it. Um, yeah. We will have our live auction. We, we have peeled off some um, really nice um, uh, gifts for the live auction, as well as our um, classroom art, art projects at the live auction. Okay. So that's important, Steve. I think our audience needs to know if you're planning on bidding on, any of the live packages, which would include some of the special packages you mentioned, but also the class art, which is always popular at C.S. Lewis. We want to make sure that you are in attendance so that you can bid on that live auction. You will not be able to bid outside of the room. Is that correct? That's correct. You know, we've talked about different formats. It's one of the things that's that kind of slowed us up a little bit this year. We went from, you know, this silent auction live auction model that was pretty normal in the auction world and then we pivoted i don't like that word anymore but we pivoted um you know march 20th uh 2020 and had to take our our auction online which we've been the last two years and then this year we've got this hybrid we've elected that you know we still want people at our live event we love the the fun and the energy that that has and quite frankly just um, we just think it's it's a lot of fun with things like these art projects um, to, to be doing live. So, yes, you'll have to be in attendance to bid on those. You could send a proxy bid with someone to bid for you, um, but some someone in attendance is going to have to be on those. I will note they are not online right now, but in the next, give us until How about Sunday. just a few days? Sometime in the days. next few days, they're going to in be popping up. In the next few up. days, those uh, will all pop up right at once. Uh, on our online site, they'll be clear that they are live auction items, but at least people will be able to see those. They won't be able to bid on them online, but they can see what's coming. There'll probably be a big thing that says, buy your ticket now. Absolutely, because tickets are still available. And 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 Steve, before we, uh, we start winding down here, I do want to touch base on the paddle raise, right? Because... 
you know, as I always say in the fundraising business, those those are the most important minutes of the whole program that night. And as I understand it, those funds go to support tuition assistance, uh, which is really a cool thing because that makes C.S. Lewis uh, more uh, available to a bigger cross section of individuals and and families that maybe it wouldn't be otherwise. Right. And I always yeah, say to folks, critical. you know, in this environment, I'm always mentioning that you don't it, it, those inf the information and who's on that is always confidential. But you never know, your child's best friend might be there on tuition assistance. And so, you you know, a lot of folks that come to these events are like, hey, why would I do that? The reality is they uh, you never know who's on it and how important it is to keep making this incredible quality of education available to such a much broader market than it would be without uh, without this paddle raise. Is that a fair statement, Steve? You know, you just hit it. Um, I, you said a lot more eloquent than I can. Patrick, but um, our tuition assistance program is critical to the livelihood of our school in many ways. Um, we want to be a diverse school. We want to be, um, it's hard to say affordable because when you charge tuition, what's what's affordable? It's very different um, for different families, but we want to be at least reachable, or I think you said attainable for um, a broader spectrum of, of families that are looking um, for our small class sizes, they're looking for our Christian education. Um, they're looking for a C.S. Lewis, you know, mission type uh, education for their students, which is becoming more and more and more important every day in our society. So, um, you know, many people, as as much as we try to keep our our tuition kind of middle of the pack of of peer schools. Uh, it starts to outdistance some people's uh, ability. So we have to be able to support that with financial assistance. And this is where it comes from. And so the generosity of, of the people that have uh, maybe a little more disposable income to be able to support, uh, like you said, some of the, their, their sons and daughters, classmates um, yeah. is really, really important. Absolutely. And hey, you know, this is something that, yeah, we're going to do the paddle raise at the live event, Steve. But you have the ability right here on the online mechanism, right here on the platform where the auction is, you can make a commitment to the paddle raise, right? So hopefully, you know, we have a lot of alumni, we have a lot of alumni family uh, all over, whether they're here in the Newburgh area or whether they're in other parts of the country now because of careers or family, whatever. And they have an opportunity to help. They don't have to come to the event on the 14th. They can actually be right here on the website and make that contribution. It's a great way for families even to share with maybe grandparents or uh, relatives around the country or good friends around the country that uh, they've heard you speak or they've heard them speak about what a great education they're getting at C.S. Lewis Academy. And I'll tell you what, if you need any incentive at all, folks, right here on the homepage of the auction, I had the opportunity to play this video a few minutes ago before we went on the air, and I was blown away, Steve and Molly. This, I, there are so many, there are so many messages in that that just resonate with me, and I, I, I just, it almost, I don't, I, I'm not even at C.S. Lewis Academy, but I, it almost brought me to tears to to realize that this incredible institution is right here in Newburgh. And to hear those kids say things in their own words, I guarantee it was not scripted, was it, Steve? I mean, no, I was not. blown away. I thought I was I thought I was in a different world compared to what I see on the news every day. Yeah, it's a shout out to Daniel Hurst who put that together for us, but uh, several people working behind the scenes that, that uh, helped us construct that. But most um, you know, the biggest credit, just our kids and, you know, the sincerity that they show and why they love uh, their school. And, you know, I talked about the fun run earlier. That was just uh, kind of a piece of it as well. So, yeah, I'd urge anybody to just spend three minutes and watch that little video. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, I know we got to wrap up. I, I can hear the rain coming down. I know it's not in Tahoe, but it is here sure. where I am, uh, as Bill Sean, we say, wherever you may be, mm -hmm. right? Uh, is is there, uh, after the event, we've still got tickets available. Go to cslewisacademy.com uh, and get your tickets. Don't miss the party of the year at C.S. Lewis Academy. Uh, with your tropical vibes. You don't even have to get dolled up, dressed up. You know, It's going to be a great, great time. 
Uh, is there anything else that you guys would like to add to that? Exclamation point. Uh, join us that night. Um, the, the dinner alone is worth the price of the ticket. Oh, um, with you know, McKillop's involved? Absolutely. That's what we're putting there. So, you know, it's a, you, you know, husbands out there, call it date night. Come on and, and uh, you get double credit for that one. And we have a good time and uh, we want to fill the place. Uh, we'll have 25 tables available if we've got 200 people wanting to be there. And we've been at that in our prior years. People have fallen out of the, uh, the habit. Get back in the habit. Come join us this night. We can do this now. It's been yeah. two years. We can do this again. Let's uh, let's come out and celebrate that. Yeah, well, I can tell you, working a lot of events, this, I, I've done two this week and one more tomorrow, uh, and the in-person events are incredibly popular, Steve. When we can get people back together in a space, and uh, it, I, it's almost like they don't remember until they're in that room, and they see people they haven't talked to in a while. They see people from more than just the neck up. There's nobody wearing a mask. It's a <laughs> phenomenal experience. You did. You, we talk about we missed it. We have no idea until we're all in the room together. Don't miss this party, folks. Uh, do not miss it. Uh, go right now to cslewisacademy.com. Patrick, I also, I also want to thank everybody. I, we'll thank them at the event, too, but just on this platform. I'm not going to name it names, but thank you to everybody that's been involved in putting this together. Absolutely. And we're going to have this up uh, on the Facebook pages for folks who weren't able to join us today. And the only thing that they're going to miss is they're about to miss our incredible giveaway of our uh, Amazon gift card. Now, for some reason, it doesn't appear that people actually, uh, I'm going to look because I see, uh, yeah, they put in, she put in Watchmen. And Danica, you put it in as Watchman, then she fixed it. So there's only a couple entries, but uh, we are uh, we're going to run it anyway. And somebody's going to walk away with a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card uh, right now. Are we ready, Molly? Ready. Let's do it. And Danica is our winner. Danica Woo! is our winner. Congratulations. Uh, Molly, maybe you can uh, email me a uh, an email address or Steve, whoever, and I will get her her $25 Amazon gift card here within the few minutes. All right. Excellent. Folks, thank you so very, very much for joining us today. want to encourage you to bid high and bid often, as always and support the incredible uh, learning experience that your kids are having at C.S. Lewis Academy. Until we meet again, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.